LAFD CERT is the Community Emergency Response Team, and it was designed for the training of civilians so when first responders can't be there, civilians are trained to take care of themselves, their families, and their neighbors. My name is Janet Gibson, and I am a volunteer, and I've been involved with CERT for three years now. It all happened within one year where I got the idea of uh, developing a community-based, self-sufficient, uh, neighborhood response plan. This is in 1985. If people are willing to uh, respond, people are willing to be trained to respond, that that would be something that we should do in LA. So I wrote up a concept paper of a civilian, if you will, emergency response team, CERT. Someone can become part of CERT by attending a seven-week class put on by LA Fire where they learn a variety of different skills that will help them in the event of an emergency when nobody else is there to help them. Basic first aid, light search and rescue, fire suppression. Every one of those skills are incredibly important and they're taught to us by LAFD firefighters who are very experienced in those areas. The CERT classes are located all throughout the city and they can be sponsored by neighborhood councils, they can be held at schools or businesses. There's a variety of classes for people to choose from. I'm Captain Cody Wireader with the Los Angeles Fire Department. I am the CERT unit commander for the uh, LAFD. It's very simple for someone to become uh, involved in the CERT program. It's a program that's provided free of charge by the Los Angeles Fire Department. And uh, if you go to uh, LAFD.org or CERT-LA, it actually gives you a full step-by-step -step, um, how to sign up for CERT classes near you. Taking the LAFD CERT program, I believe that I am now disaster ready for when something does happen, uh, I'm able to help my family and friends because the CERT program has given me the knowledge to be able to do that. The CERT people are trained on this, they're ready, good to go. That's why we train the CERT people so that they can work directly underneath the fire department. That's the only group of people that can work with the fire department because they're trained by us. Okay. I just did the classes this year. It was really great and we've learned a lot of stuff. It, it teaches people to be, instead of being a bystander, how to be involved and be that first responder when they're needed the most. CERT teaches you how to take care of yourself after a disaster. Then you take care of your family, your loved ones, then your neighbors. And if it's a long-term disaster, then you can go out into the community and help the community as a whole. When you're in CERT, you are a volunteer, and there are thousands of people in LA City who are volunteers who put in hundreds of hours every year, unpaid because they care so much about this entity. I'm Frank Borden. I'm actually the father of CERT. I started the program in uh, 1985 and 1986. I'm actually honored to be called the father of CERT. I, um, it's it's a title that I. Um, appreciate very much um, because since I did uh, develop the program, develop the concept of the program, of course I was surrounded by good people. I picked good people to make sure the program went, went ahead and went, went ahead well. But I do enjoy that title very much and I appreciate uh, being called the Father of CERT. I was fortunate to get involved with the CERT program through Assistant Chief Frank Borden who at the time was in charge of the Disaster Preparedness uh, Division. Uh, and there were some other captains that were assigned there that I knew from Drill Tower and uh, had interacted with before. And based on that previous in interaction, they thought I would be a good fit. Uh, I was asked to come down and interview. I did so, and uh, the rest is history. I was one of the first members to be a part of the instructional cadre. Armando Hogan, yeah, Chief Hogan now. We picked him out. All of our instructors we interviewed, myself, I had a battalion chief and a captain, and Armando Hogan was a firefighter at that time. And he had the right stuff to be a really good instructor, which he was. He had the personality and the smarts and did really great uh, programs. I feel very lucky. I feel we're all very lucky to have Los Angeles Fire Department instructing us on this CERT program. Um, who better to train people in how to you know, react in a disaster? Throughout LA City, there are a variety of ways to remain engaged in CERT. We have volunteer battalion coordinators as well as volunteer bureau coordinators. The coordinators work very hard to keep LAFD CERT graduates engaged in various training activities throughout the year. 
We hold monthly meetings within the battalions. We hold quarterly refreshers through the bureaus. And then there are large events and drills that are periodic throughout the year also. They're normally located throughout the city of Los Angeles. The idea behind that is for our, our neighborhood team members, those that have taken the uh, uh, CERT basic course, are able to, to refresh their skills and uh, maybe learn some new ones they might have missed in the beginning. LAFD CERT is also very active in community events in and around the city. We assist with the LA Christmas Parade, the Taste of Soul Street Festival, and the MLK Day Parade. LAFD Fire Service Day in the spring is at various LAFD stations, as well as many other street fairs and preparedness events around the city. The only cost involved with CERT would be personal, and that would be if you want to buy the uniform, if you want to buy additional gear for your backpack, but just to be involved with CERT, no, there's no cost. CERT gave me a place to find all this information about preparing and getting ready and helping other people. That's what we're called Community Emergency Response Team. The best part about the CERT program is the fact that it's absolutely free. And I think that that helps when I tell other people about joining. It, it, it encourages them to participate and they're not worried about having to pay anything. It's one of the best trainings I've ever had and the fact that the fire department teaches it for free is just a bonus. We also at the Los Angeles Fire Department are able to offer the LAFD call out team. And what it is, it's our, our CERT members that have taken the basic courses and then taken additional training through the Los Angeles Fire Department with the additional training that's offered to these CERT members, and they become that, that really that logistical crutch that the uh, fire department can really rely on. As part of CERT, when you're in a big incident, the firefighters are so grateful you're there because we take a lot of the burden off of their shoulders and it allows us to do things that would be almost wasteful for them in their training. They should be out fighting the fires, doing what they do, and we can handle some of the things that maybe aren't as crucial, so they're very grateful for our presence. Some of the many roles that our LAFD call-out team is able to fulfill uh, logistically has been crucial at the most recent devastating wildfires. Uh, utilizing our call-out team for logistical support at our, our command posts uh, has absolutely been huge. Now we're able to get fire resources back out on the fire line and utilize our call-out team to assist us in those command post operations. The CERT call-out team is vitally important for a number of reasons. In particular, uh, days of uh, inclement weather where we have wires down or high winds, any time that we can call out a dedicated group of volunteers that are willing to assist us and that frees up our resources to provide services in other areas. CERT can be involved in anything going on at a base camp. It could be helping set up tables, help feeding, cleaning up, it doesn't matter. Whatever we can do to help the firefighters achieve their goal is what we do. Uh, one of the things that we're able to implement is our LAFD call-out team as, as a community fire patrol. And with this, our CERT members are actually utilizing our department apparatus, uh, either Suburbans or pickup trucks, and they're doing that community fire patrol in those very high severity fire areas. And uh, those are gonna be our first eyes on for that quick reporting. Probably the most important role that CERT plays in a major fire is hydration. When firefighters come off the line, they've gotta be rehydrated, they've gotta be fed. Uh, we have teams spread out across the city that in the event that we do have a large scale emergency, um, whether it be a brush fire, a structure fire, or uh, something that's going to have a, a long duration commitment of fire resources, we can have a firefighter rehab and hydration unit uh, staffed with our call-out team members go out there and, and set up a rehab area for firefighters on scene. There's no more important thing than maintaining the safety of our firefighters. West from here. I don't think everybody wants to be part of a bigger cause and being involved with CERT and being able to help the firefighters who do so much for our community is tremendously satisfying. Being able to have that self-sufficiency but also to be able to respond in your community is going to be absolutely crucial for the fire department to really uh, fulfill its mission of, of protecting lives and property. I'm glad Captain Wireeater is there. He's a, a good thinker. He's got a lot of good ideas about the program and uh, I like the idea of him using the social media to spread the word about the CERT program, we're gonna get e even more people that are gonna to wanna to be trained. I think CERT helps us become better prepared individually and then as a community. The more that 
we can be prepared and after the event of a real disaster, the better the city will recover. What I like best about CERT is knowing that I have the skills to help my friends, family and community and I get to be around a lot of like-minded people who want to do the same thing. You're working with people who have big hearts and actually want to do something instead of talk about it. There's no other team like this. It is a professional volunteer organization that brings 100% of their game. LAFD CERT classes and everything CERT can be found at cert-la.com or lafd.org.